Right, so we're back again and uh, we uh, a little bit forgot something here. So we forgot to uh, create holes inside uh, the column uh, flange. So we need these holes because this is where the balls will go. So how we can do that? So what we can do is pretty much uh, we need to extrude a cut inside this uh, part that we already created. So if we go here in this icon, Create Cut Extrude. Uh, Apex is now is asking me to select a plane so that we can sketch this uh, cut uh, geometry. So I'm going to select this plane. And then Abacus is asking me to select an edge or an axis that will appear vertical and on the right. So this is something just for the orientation of the sketch. So I will select this edge for instance. So now you see the column rotates and again everything is centered here and then the only thing that I need to do is to draw uh, my uh, holes. So I'm assuming here that the beam uh, will be located at uh, the center line of the column. All right. So uh, if you remember here the location of the bolts from the center line they are 50 millimeter from the vertical center line and 70 millimeter from uh, the horizontal center line. Uh, we can first uh, modify, uh, as you see, the zero and zero here is offset for the sketch. So we can modify the origin of the sketch. If I go here to the sketcher options and if I go to the origin, so pick a location for the grid origin. So uh, Let's see if I click on that. So now this moved. Uh, let me modify it a bit. So now I want to actually send to, to be in the middle. This will simplify the drawing. So let me see here what are these coordinates. So this is 0 and 0 and this is negative 30. So I can go to negative 15 and 0. So here you go. So now I have my grid line is just in the center. So this was helping me when I'm uh, drawing the sketch. So now I can draw uh, my uh, circle, my holes. So the center line of the circle will be at negative 50 and at Y of uh, 70. So this is now the center line. can see here if I zoom a little bit so that's the center line so I can draw any diameter and then I can uh, modify the dimension uh, the diameter is 18 millimeters so the radius is 9 so here you go and then I can put the other ones using the array just easier so I select the entity and then uh, I want to have two in each direction in this direction that would be 100 and the other direction that would be 140. So these are the four holes, okay. So we're, now we're done with the sketch. So I click done. And now Abex is telling me, how do you want to cut it? So you have different options here for the cut. This is the direction of the cut, which is correct. So you can cut through all the flanges. So this is through all. So the cut will go through everything in its direction, or you can just uh, cut it blind for a specific depth or you can cut it up to a given face so for now i will uh, just uh, do the holes just in this flange the one where i'm going to have my plate so this is blind and i put the thickness equal to the thickness of the column flange so that's 15 and i will click ok so here you go since we have holes over here uh, so we need to uh, do some partitions uh, at the whole locations so i will do uh, this create partitions I will select all the cells using three points so I will do here at the middle create partition then I will do again at the whole locations again this will simplify uh, the meshing later on uh, let me see if I can find another point yeah here it is here you go and select these cells as well uh, done using three points 
one, two, three points. Defining a plane, we cut. Uh, let's do additional as well. Uh, again, the more the more partitions and the more regular the shape is, this is the better. So we need to have like here one, two in the vertical direction as well. Yes, that's good. And select all again using three points. The last partition here in this direction. Here you go. So now we have the holes drawn, we have all the partitions. Okay, you have a lot of partitions, but this is better because now this will fix any problems uh, or you will not have any problems once you start uh, doing your mesh.